hello welcome to everyone in this video this is our lecture number 74 already 73 lectures are covered to solve the problem asked in this book that is electrodynamics by dj griffith actually this is the part 31 of this book and the rest of the lecture consists the solution of the Vasudev Ghosh book electricity and magnetism so if you want to watch the previous lectures that is the solution of these two books you can go through the description box links are given there also if you want to various discussion regarding physics you can go through the description box there are link is given there of my youtube channel right so in this video i want to discuss that is problem number 7.07 to 7.14 of this chapter 7 that is electrodynamics that that is the uh, chapter 7 of this book electrodynamics by dj griffith in the last video we on uh, we actually discussed the question number 7.01 to 7.06 right so after that we want to discuss this question in this video so let's start with question number 7.7 .7, which says a metal bar of mass m slides frictionlessly on two parallel conducting rail at a distance L apart that means this rail is uh, go through this direction where there is R resistance is connected okay it's pointing in the page uh, here the magnetic field which is uh, pointing into the page this is the magnetic field pointing into this page fill the entire region if the bar moves to the right with this speed, speed v what is the current in this register you need to find out the current within this register so you know the induced emf due to this motion of this bar is nothing but minus d phi dt and phi is b into a magnetic field and this is area area is nothing but l into x so this is nothing but b l are the constant but x is changed dx dt which is velocity v so the current is nothing but the this is emf is the voltage and r is the resistance so this emf by resistance this minus actually denoted the direction this is the magnitude of this current so how will we get the direction of this current you can see here that is the uh, uh, that is the force on this charge that is v v cross v that is v and b is downward so v cross if you uh, uh, perform this cross product that is v and cross b you will be get this force along that direction that means current flow along that direction within this rod so for the completeness of this current this must be current flow within this resistance will be downward clear so this is the downward in in the resistor this is going down or in the resistor clear i think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box go to the next one what is the magnetic force on this bar you need to find out the force on this bar due to current flow since this uh, the, the magnetic uh, force is nothing but i l cross b this is i and this length is l and b is b also and they are is perpendicular to each other so if you cross product this l and uh, b is perpendicular to this so l cross b is give this force along that direction towards the left and put this value of i already we find out the value of i here b l v by r so put this value of b l v by r you will be get b square l square v by r this is the force on this rod right next one if bars started towards uh, with velocity v0 at t equals to 0 to the left side he started to left side what is the speed at time t so here the force is actually mass into acceleration that is dvdt and force we already obtained this one um, due to this region this will be the integrity after rearranging them and integrating you can easily find out the velocity at time t because at time t0 this velocity is v0 so this will be the velocity at time t of this rod next one the kinetic energy of the bar was that that is half m v not square check the energy delivered to the resistor is exactly this so uh, we need to check that is the energy delivered will be like that so there is the power is nothing but i square r is the power so dw dt is this i square r and i is nothing but here we already obtained the value of i just use this expression that is the value of i b l v y r so using this expression of i you will be get this relation okay and already use this expression of velocity so after getting this relation dw dt equal to this where uh, alpha is taken as like that so the total energy delivered is nothing but the integration throughout this time that is zero to infinity after getting integration that is total work done uh, energies delivered to the register also obtained and which is nothing but the kinetic energies of this bar right right 
so this kinetic energy of the bar actually converted the uh, energy delivered to this resistor this these are the uh, energy conservation law value this validates the energy conservation law next one a square loop of uh, square loop of site a this is the site a of the square loop table at a distance a long straight wire which current i as shown in this figure find the flux of this b through this loop so the magnetic field at the distance x due to this current y nothing but mu zero i by 4 pi x phi cap using this ampere's law or biasabar law you can easily find out this expression right uh, previously we already discussed this expression and the flux due to this small portion is nothing but phi equals to d phi uh, b, b into area so b and this area is a into dx so you put this value of b this is the flux within this small region so the total flux is nothing but the integration that is s to s plus a so integral value will be like that there is a flux associated with this loop next question says if someone pull the loop directly away from the wires now if someone pull this loop directly away from the wire with velocity v what is the emf generated emf is nothing but d phi dt here the flux already generated and if this will be changed uh, d phi dt will be get just uh, just derivative because this s will be changed so ds dt and which is nothing but the velocity v ds dt is nothing but the velocity v v is nothing but ds dt also so put this value ds dt as a v finally you will be get the emf induced within this loop will be like that mu not i square v by 2 pi s into s plus a right so here the force on the charge nearly side square now the uh, uh, you need to know about the direction of the current uh, here you see that is the magnetic field is out of the page because this current loop will be around that direction so at that region magnetic field out of the page and the current will be sorry and the uh, uh, sorry 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 uh, sorry what what happened this is the uh, uh, and the force along that direction so magnetic field in the upward and the force will be that direction so uh, velocity will be that direction from the flaming left hand rule you can easily find out the force along that direction right magnetic field and uh, velocity so force will be along that direction and for that we are also force along that direction but magnetic field at that region is higher compared to that region so this force will be greater along the uh, compared to this region that's why this uh, since this force is better so this kind is much uh, this kind is greater than than that of that region so resultant the current flow along this counter clockwise i think clear about this region that is the magnetic field is stronger here the rear near side compared to this one so that's why this uh, force will be uh, larger compared to this one since force is larger so this kind will be effectively along that direction counterclockwise and the value of the uh, emf will be like that next question what is the loop is pulled right at the v instant of the hour uh, if uh, we pull along that direction then you can see there is no flux chain because this ds uh, no, not change ds dt is zero that means no flux change here since there is no flux change so there is no induced emf there is no current flow within the loop next one an infinite number of different surface can be fit in a given boundary line yet and def define the magnetic flux phi equal to b dot a i never specify the particular surface used specific apparent overlay. actually this is a theorem because in case of magnetic field we know divergence v equals to zero and in theorem 2c from the section 1.6.2 you can easily find out this relation if divergence b equals to zero then divergence the da da is mean the aerial integration uh, surface integration uh, which is independent of the surface of any given boundary okay this is actually the theoretical theorem next one a square loop a is mounted in vertical shape rotate angular velocity omega this square loop velo uh, rotate angular velocity omega uniform magnetic field pointing to rights so find the et that is the emf induced within this loop of the current, uh, alternating current generator here you can see at a certain time this uh, is rotated uh, with angle theta of this loop with respect to b so the flux will be dot a that means b square uh, a means area this square is also actually the value of area and angle between them is cos theta 
and theta is nothing but omega t this, this, this is change in time t uh, that the displacement will be angu angular displacement will be omega t so the induced emf epsilon equals to minus d phi dt if you derivative you will be easily find out omega b square sin omega t this is the sinusoidal or alternating current will be generated within this loop next one a square loop is cut out of thick sheet of aluminium if the plane uh, placed on the portion of the uniform magnetic field like that uh, allow the under the gravity under the gravity it will fall down right uh, in the magnetic field one tesla find the terminal velocity of this loop so what is the terminal velocity of this loop here you can see the ema produced will be blv and this ema equals to ir so from here you will be get the current flow within loop and the force on this loop will be ilv so put this value of i will be get b square l square v by r this is the force on this loop so this force uh, and the gravitational force also acting in the lower side which is mg so finally the force equation the mass into acceleration equals to this resultant force just rearranging them and integrating uh, you can easily find out the velocity of like that and this is the terminal velocity because at the terminal velocity the acceleration will be zero so put this acceleration zero you can get the expression of terminal velocity g by alpha so here g by alpha can be replaced by vt and this alpha if you place this value of alpha you get the expression of vt that is the terminal velocity gm by b square l square right now the question was now the question was find the velocity of loop of a function of time how long is take to reach say 90 percent of terminal velocity so you need to find out the time to get the 90 percent of this uh, terminal velocity that is v equals to 90 percent of vt just putting this value of v that is 90 percent of vt and integrating you can get the time that is the vt by z 10 ln 10 okay now there was a, another question what do you happen if you cut in tiny slit of this ring if you cut this in the tiny slit of the ring what will be the happen okay so if, if we cut into the tiny slit there will be number will be 4 a 4l actually length this is cross section area n is the uh, number den mass density so this will be the number and the corresponding resistance will be length per area into 4l is the total length cross a is the cross section area sigma is the conductivity hence the vt will be written is like there because vt equal to gm r by b square l square so put this value of uh, r equals to 4l r equals to 4l by sigma a and gm uh, g uh, gm g uh, mm gm vt equals to gm b square by l square so this is the z and this actually the value of m gm b square by b square i think clear this is actually m for mass I, uh, I think you clear about thing there is error this is the mass m is the mass okay total mass is the volume into area 4 into l is total length this is cross section area eta is the mass density this is the mass right so this will be the mass so this is the expression of vt and putting this uh, value for this aluminium you can easily find out this vt will be 1.2 centimeter per second and the corresponding time will be 2.8 millisecond so if loop is cut into a full the, this will becomes a fully freely and with oscillation g this is not and there is no terminal velocity if there is tiny uh, cut into tiny next question a long solenoid of radius a driven by a alternating current so that the field will be like that a loop of circular loop or radius a by 2 resistance are placed inside this solenoid so there is a solenoid uh, and within the solenoid they are uh, uh, due to alternating current this magnetic field within that region uh, happening like that and there is a small uh, loop with radius a by 2 is placed within that region then find the current induced within this loop so flux for this loop is phi area into magnetic field so this is the area and this is the magnetic field so the induced emm equals to minus d phi dt so just put this value of phi and derivative is to time you will be get this anti and the corresponding current will be emf by resistance so this is the emf by resistance this will be the value current current value within this induced uh, induced emf of this loop 
नेक्स्ट वन ए स्क्वायर लूप ऑफ साइट ए लाइज इन द्वार ऑफ द एक्स वाई प्लेन द रीजन यूनॉन यूनिफॉर्म दिस इज द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड फाइंड द इंडस्ट्री में दोस्तों फ्लैक्स इज नथिंग बट बी डॉट डी एस डी एस इक्वल्स टू डी एक्स डी वाई सो जस्ट इंटीग्रेटिंग दिस वैल्यू एक्स इज जीरो टू ए वाई इज ऑल्सो जीरो टू ए बट देर इज वाई क्यू सो फाइनल यू गेट दिस इज दी फ्लैक्स विद इन दिस लूप सिंस दिस दिस इज दी फ्लैक्स सो द इंड्यूस टी एम इज नथिंग बट माइनस डी फाइव डी टी जस्ट डेरीवेटिव विद रेस्पेक्ट टू टी यूल गेट दी आंसर दैट इज द इंड्यूस टी एम एफ विद इन दिस स्क्वायर लूप नेक्स्ट वन एज ए लेक्चर डेमोस्ट्रेशन ए शॉर्ट सिलिंड्रिकल बार मैगनेट इज ड्रप डाउन ए भार्टिकल एलुमिनियम पाइप दिस इज एलुमिनियम पाइप एंड दिस इज अ बार सिलिंड्रिकल बार मैगनेट इज ड्रप डाउन अबाउट टू मीटर लॉन्ग इट ट्रेक सेवर सेकेंड टू इमार्ज द बटम सो इट टेक सेवर टाइम टू इमार्ज दिस बटम वायर एज अदरवाइज आइडेंटिकल पीस अफ आन मैगनेटाइज आयरन इफ देर इज एन अदर आन मैगनेटाइज आयरन the tip of the fraction of a second explain the magnet fall slowly so there is case two there is two cases actually first one when this was bar magnet this was bar magnet uh, this is slowly when this is simple uh, rod this is fast fast and this is slow why this has happened actually this is happened due to faraday's and lenz's law why suppose this is north pole and this is south pole when this passes through the towards this uh, aluminium in the front side front side they are uh, also produce an in side due to lenz's law you know and this uh, up, uh, upper side this produce uh, south so this actually attract when this move this induced emf actually attract this material whereas this is uh, non magnetized material so there is no such attraction actually happen this will fall with with, with the acceleration due to gravity but in that case there is a uh, lenz's law actually happening there is a uh, induced emf actually happening which oppose the fall of this magnet i think clear and this actually written in uh, this in this paragraph you can uh, uh, you can read this paragraph you can easily understand i think you can understand what i want to say that when this fall within uh, that's uh, that's uh, within this cylinder then what happen this opposite magnetization field actually produce which opposed to this uh, bar magnet to fall down that's why this is fall slowly compared to the free fall motion okay i think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box this is all about me and this is my contact details you connect with me with me with this telegram channel such that you can get the notification of upcoming video or you can download the pdf of this lecture and this is my you know, another social media you can connect with me with this media also and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will be get the different video regarding the physics like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends and that, that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and those already subscribed thanks for subscription press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you